For many years, Matt English played an important role in shaping the lives of Western New York's hockey prospects as a coach with the Buffalo Junior Sabres franchise. In fact, Matt's relationship with the Junior A club spans into all three periods of the club's history. Uh, I started out as an assistant coach with Chris Hicks. Uh, Chris actually brought me on as kind of a full-time assistant. And then we went to the Buffalo Lightning and then to the Buffalo Junior Sabres. Uh, Dave Bronstein was very, very much a part of, you know, Dave and myself getting the Junior Sabre name back, which I think was very important. Among the more notable players to pass through the program under his watch as head coach was Lee Stepniak, now with the NHL's Calgary Flames. Several others have made it into NCAA Division I college hockey programs, including Mike Devine, who advanced to Dartmouth, Jeremiah Crow to Clarkson, and three who advanced to Niagara University, Chris Moran, Kyle Rogers, and Dan Bacco. For English, advancing players to Division III schools was just as much a cause for celebration, if not a bigger reason to celebrate. Along with Jane Oprey, our thing was to have, uh, get the kids into college. That, that, and, you know, where they were going to get a good academic, you know, education and play some hockey. And uh, Jane was great at it. And then, and then Dave Bronstein took over for Jane. And, uh, you know, just getting the right fit. You know, my goal was to get a kid into college where he was going to play. There's a lot of kids that I coached that could play Division Three, could have played Division One, and played five games a year. They went to Division Three and played every game. So it was... You know, I always said it's not, you know, where you play, it's how much you play. During English's time with the junior club, the team did not have the sponsors or support that the team enjoys today. English says the previous owner, Chuck Giambra, deserves high praise for making it all work under much more difficult circumstances. You know, he was he was for the kids. He he didn't want to see this team fold. He know he knew how important it was to the community, but just for the hockey community to have a place because you didn't see too many kids go from high school to college. It's, you have to play juniors. So he knew uh, how important it was for this organization to stay above water and on its feet. And you know, I'm sure that some years he took a bath. When not coaching, English worked for the town of West Seneca's highway department. In 2009, his supervisor, Pat Finnegan, passed away and English won a special election to fill the seat. He has since been re-elected to his own full term as highway superintendent a term that continues until 2015. In addition to maintaining the town's roads, English is also in charge of the rink where the Junior Sabres franchise was home for many years. Still think it's the best rink in Western New York. You know, we had the yellow lights. Uh, my son played in college at Geneseo and, you know, he, he told me a story of the first day he was there. One of the upperclassmen, when my son was a freshman, said to him, Boy, I hated playing at West Seneca. You guys had the funkiest lights there. Because I hated playing with those yellow lights. But West Seneca, it, it gave you a home feeling. Um, you know, you had to walk through the crowd before the game and after to get back to the locker room. So you were able to interact with all the kids. Uh, the West Seneca Hockey Association was fabulous. Absolutely fabulous for the, you know, the Junior A franchise. They, they took us in like we were one of their own. English continues to coach hockey at the youth level and does so with his son Matt and with former Buffalo Lightning and Junior Sabre forward Drew Leverer. His nephew Kevin has also passed through the franchise and Matt hopes maybe one day he'll join him behind the bench. And I'd be uh, remiss not to, not to uh, bring up uh, Matt Bean and Tony Polino and Jeff, Jeff Purcell, who, you know, Jeff was a great player with the, with the Scenics. Um, those three guys were my assistant coaches. Uh, you know, when we went, it was all volunteer. So that, you know, I, uh, those guys were outstanding, outstanding coaches. And I know Tony's still coaching. Matt's with the Erie Community College. Jeff has a little girl now, so uh, he's doing the father thing. But those three guys, I couldn't ask for three better guys to be on my staff. In the meantime, English looks back on his junior hockey years with very fond memories. It was just special when a kid knocked on the door said, Coach, I'm going to Brockport. Coach, I'm going to Niagara. Coach, I'm going to Plattsburgh. Coach, I'm going to Utica. It was, uh, that made that made it all special. It made it worth it to hear two sentences made coaching all worthwhile, winning or losing.